country. And my, when my friends asked me to go here this year, I was just like, yes, let's go. So I signed up to that. Um, this week I did it three days a week. I did it three days in a row and I'm really feeling it. Um, as far as um, extra work, because in myself, I know from previous experience, I need to do probably an hour a day to um, really lose the weight. But for now, 30 minutes a day is fine. Um, just to get me back into the, the, the role of things. Um, sometimes if my friend doesn't go with me, I walk and the walk is 20 minutes there and 20 minutes back. So it's almost like an hour by the time, well, it's over an hour by the time I walk there, I walk back. So it's, it's a, it's a good, decent exercise, but, um, that doesn't happen every day. Um, at home, I'm going to be doing little bits and pieces just to keep myself going, just keep motivation. Next diet. I, before now, like last year, I never really watched what I ate. Being in Japan, it was really difficult for me, just getting adjusted to new food, um, finding things I liked. Japan's big on fried food, just like other Asian countries, and so I ate a lot of fried food at the beginning. And last year's medical check, I was actually diagnosed with high cholesterol. I've never had that in my life, and it really freaked me out, so I started losing weight then. That was another one of my failed weight loss um, trials. <laughs> and they said my cholesterol was going down, but I won't know until this week when I go for my next medical check, um, which is a yearly thing, so that'll be interesting. Um, but ever since the beginning of this year, <laughs> this year, 2012, my New Year's resolution was to lose weight into YouTube. New Year's Day, I ate McDonald's. That's my confession. I'm sorry I didn't stick to it. But the thing is, I got back on track and now I am doing this. Um, so ever since then, I have been eating salad. I've been having cereal for breakfast, salad for lunch, and then meat and a Japanese meal for dinner, which includes miso soup, um, either rice or udon noodles. So there's my carbohydrates and um, meat and some form of salad. And it seems like a lot, but they're only in small bowls, so it's not a lot. Um, my portion sizes during the day are smaller, so I can have a bigger lunch, uh, a bigger dinner, sorry. I don't calorie count. My father is hell-bent on calorie count. He loves it. And sure enough, when I was watching my calories, yes, I was losing weight too. But being here in this situation, I monitor enough. I run a website. I run two YouTube channels. I work. I'm living in a foreign country. Um that's enough for me. I don't need to monitor what, how much calories I am consuming a day. Um, so if you're, if you're uh, watching your calories, that's great. Good for you. I'm really impressed. Um, I wish I could do it, but it's just not for me. And part of making lifestyle changes is part of making things that will work for you. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Motivation. Here's a long spiel. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail here. Most of you out there who are doing this weight loss challenge with me have spoken about being overweight as a kid and being teased and whatnot. Now, for me, I was always the fat kid. Um, not fat, not overly fat, just big. I'm big boned. My father is big boned. My brother was big boned. Um, my sister was big. Um, we're just a big family. Unfortunately, we didn't get the genes of my mother who was like a stick. <laughs> so we had to deal with a lot. Um, we were always energetic. Um, we always, me and my brother, we always did Saturday sports, which means we trained through the week and did Saturday sports. Um, my sister and my brother were also horse riders. So they rode every Sunday. They rode, um, uh, most days at home and, um, at school, I think I was one of the only kids in elementary school that took a salad to lunch every day. And I'm talking full salad, the works, no dressing, straight salad, um, and water. I envied kids with chips and things like that, but my mother knew, <laughs> she knew that I was conscious about my weight and she would help me um, to do this even in elementary school. So that's how much I've had to struggle with this my whole life. Um, I'm just looking at my cheeks now. <laughs> They're so big. <laughs> anyway, um, now the thing is, I didn't get teased a lot when I was a kid. I, sure, you get the little snide comments, you're fat, you're whatever, fat bitch, whatever. Like, it didn't worry me. I knew in myself I was fat, and that's where the problem was. I had a lot of 
I think a lot. I'm very analytical. I think a lot in my head and don't talk to other people about it. I keep everything closed in. Um, and this was the problem for me. Um, even now, to this day, I'm very negative on myself. I think badly about myself. I um, put myself down. I aim low so that I'm not disappointed um, in most things. If I do a test or something like that, I assume that I'm going to fail so that when I do pass, I am gratefully um, excited. Like getting this job, I the whole way through I was like, there's no way I'm getting this job, there's no way I'm going to Japan. And then when I got it, I was ecstatic. So things like that, I'm just always negative. Um, I try to be positive to others um, because, yeah, I, I put on this face, this guard. Um, in myself, I don't feel so confident. I'm not a confident person. Um, but my friends, if you ask them what they think of me, the, one of the first things I'll say is that I'm a very confident person. I'm very outgoing. I don't believe that. I think that's just a face, a mask that I put on to hide what I truly am feeling. And I always put others before my, fir before my first, before myself. <laughs> I always put others before myself and um, I worry about them before me. And um, I'm a people pleaser. I really am. I do things to please other people. I'd much rather give someone else a, a bottle of soft drink or candy or a gift or something like that than receive one myself. I'm just, yeah, that's just who I am and I can't help it. Um, so <laughs> the joy of this vlog is that I am making these so I can please you, the people who are watching me, and um, motivate me to keep going to lose this weight. If I know I have a following of people that are um, watching me and making sure that I do this, then I'm not going to give up. I'm going to make sure that I please you. So <laughs> subscribe and leave your comments and make me feel loved because having support, I think with anyone in any weight loss, um, having support and having the motivation to keep going is um, is just the biggest boost in the world. So please help me. I want you. I want you. Please come with me. <laughs> so the next question I want to ask is, why 2012? Why now? As far as I'm concerned, why not? Um, it wasn't the fact that I was setting a date to start doing this. Um, like I said, I've been doing this my whole life and trying to lose weight and failing. Um, I've struggled with diets. I've struggled with lifestyle changes. Now, the thing is about lifestyle changes is um, there's no point having a diet and calling it a lifestyle change because it's just not going to work for you. Um, I don't believe in a diet being a miraculous healing and weight loss thing because everybody's body is different.